I want to draw your attention to this page. Do you guys see on page 40 these handy yes questions? Good to just see these, to insert them throughout your sales process. You'll get better at it. It'll start to ha happen naturally. Did I get that right? Yes, I say this all the time, okay? So let's just practice. Um, did I get that right? Yes. yes. So you say you want to grow your money. Did I get that right? Yes. You know what happens? Sometimes you ask them that and they say no, even though they said it. You might repeat the exact words and they don't, when they hear it back, they don't think that's what they meant. And so then you'll get a different answer. And then you repeat it back and you're like, did I get that right? And they're like, yes. Okay, cool. Now we're on the same page. If you just assume you hear it the whole time and you don't keep checking in with them, you're losing them. Because it's kind of like, uh, you guys know telephone, right? And telephone, you're like, you say this secret and then they pass it along around the circle and be, by the time it gets back to the last person, it's totally different phrase or something. Right? And that's what happens throughout the sales process. If you stop checking in with them and you just assume you got it and you don't repeat it back, that the, somehow the message begins to change for them and they don't totally feel heard. Okay? So trust me, it's not just to get them on a yes ladder to close them. It's actually to make sure that you actually got it right, whatever they said that they said or whatever they want, they mean. Okay? Oh, that's part of aligning with them. Aligning with them is, is just kind of more like not making them wrong, you know? So like a lot of aligning I think of, I know Trevor did the, the physical aligning, but if someone said, like, you know, when Lisa was up here and she said, you know, my, basically my dad's on my case, he wants to teach me and my boyfriend wants to do this, wants me to be more responsible, like, wow, I get it. Like, I'm aligning with you. Like, that kind of sucks. Like she's obviously a powerful woman. She wants to own her own space and really like take care of something. Um, so I had to align with her. And then I aligned with her more by also reframing her on the fact that she doesn't really want to do it on her own. She wants to be able to do it on her own. That's just different. That way she can understand, okay, I can, it's okay for me to ask for help. Sometimes people, not just women, oftentimes men don't like to ask for directions or help. Right? I mean, women always ask. I know. Men don't like to ask for directions. Okay. So does that make sense? Yes, we know. Uh, sorry. You don't all know that. That's not Lisa. She just also ha but you attract people like you because that's a similar type of personality, someone who's committed and, and empowered. But yes, she's married, happily doesn't have a dad on her or boyfriend aside from her marriage either. Okay. So does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay, so if I understand you guys correctly, you would like to go to closing, closing techniques. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay, great. So is that what you want? Yes. Awesome. Got it? Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> okay, is that correct? But seriously, did I, did I get that right? Is that correct? You guys do want to learn closing techniques, yes. right? Okay, yes, yes, yes. W would you agree with that? Would that be true and don't you think? Okay, so here are some things you can easily put in. And honestly, I don't always say, would that be true? I use, would you agree with that? I definitely use. Did I get that right? I definitely use. Is that accurate? I use all the time. Right, got it. Did I get that right? Um, does that make sense? I use all the time. You guys have heard it a million times. Very powerful stuff. And that keeps them, stay, that allows you to stay aligned with them as well. Okay, 